later. 9 and 10 News at 5 continues. Pretty cloudy end to your Tuesday. You're taking a live look over Beaver Island with our Doppler 9 and 10 Skycam. Overall, a cloudy, gloomy day across northern Michigan, and the gloomy week is set to continue. Our Doppler 9 and 10 weather team says we're going to be looking at a pretty messy day tomorrow. Doppler 9 and 10 meteorologist Haley Vaughn here to tell us what we can expect. Haley? Whitney and David, we will see the chance for a few shower storms and potentially even some snow. But first, I want to turn it over to a very fun adventure that I had today. This morning, I visited Larson Elementary in Harrison. I had a great time visiting five of their kindergarten classes. We talked about anything from temperature, the temperature, and the tools that I use as a meteorologist. On top of that, their favorite seasons. I know they're all looking forward to summer right now. You can see in their photo, they're kind of cold. We had some cold temperatures outside today. Right now, we're only into the 40s. Warmest spot actually being Sault Ste. Marie at 50 degrees. 45 degrees at Drummond Island and 46 here in Cadillac. But right now, our live look over most of northern Michigan, it's a cloudy scene. On top of that, some light rain showers falling, but it is coming down as really just light sprinkles. The majority of the rain will be moving in as we head into the later evening hours and tonight. A little bit of sprinkles falling over Mount Pleasant and in towards Big Rapids. The wider view shows that we do have a system coming in from the southwest. Just looking at how much moisture will be moving in. We will have multiple waves of rain moving in throughout the day and even into your Thursday. So let's watch what we're going to be looking at. Our gusty winds are going to be moving in from the east, really howling during the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. So not only cool, cool temperatures, a little bit of rain and strong winds. So we need to have those jackets as we are headed out the front door for tomorrow. Watching the rain move in during the overnight hours, 6 in the morning, the majority of that rain falling heavier at times down towards the central lower counties, and then the chance for some snow most of which will be around the northern half of the upper peninsula, but we can't rule out a few of those flakes moving through. Then around 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, the majority of that rain is moving out, leaving behind mostly cloudy skies to start your Thursday. Then an additional wave of rain will be moving in during the late afternoon hours for your Thursday. So we have quite a bit of rain that's going to be coming towards us as we go throughout the next 24 or 48 hours, which luckily will be squashing any fire danger that we'll be looking at. Tonight, we are dropping back down into the 30s, so plan on an overall very chilly night. 40 degrees in Mancelona, 43 in Traverse City. Lake City will be right at 40 degrees for tonight. 41 in Reed City and 42 in Mount Pleasant. Can't rule out the chance for possibly a rumble of thunder or two through our central lower county, so don't be surprised if you wake up to a loud boom for tonight. As for tomorrow, we are going to stay on the cooler side. 30s and lower 40s as high temperatures tomorrow. Chance for some rain and certainly breezy conditions tomorrow with 40s being the highs for our northern lower and central lower counties. Few of us reaching the lower 50s. So the next three days we are watching some wet weather on Wednesday and Thursday. By the time we reach into your Friday morning, sunshine will be returning. A few sprinkles possible in the morning, but setting us up for plenty of sunshine during the weekend and warmer temperatures. 60s finally returning for your weekend forecast and holding on to the sun into next week.